Hey people, Intrate here, 53, Catherine and Purification Plant Blue Team. Tekesh is a war boss, a melee hero, walking through objects. Very good offense, disruption, and support from the front lines. Alongside some Imperial Guard, we have blocks with a Lord Commissar, strong offense and support fighting in melee begins, with a refractor shield can shoot his own fellas in the head. Rounding off this team, weaponized assault penguin is an inquisitor, offensive hero with powerful control abilities begins in melee, but can get specialized ranged weapons. Red team, Dingus Khan is another another Lord Commissar. Alongside some Space Marines, Nifty as an Apothecary, support hero fighting in melee combat by default, begins with a heal, a passive health and generation aura. Rounding off the teams is Nakafoya, rocking a Tech Marine, starts off with a bolt gun, puts out some good damage, can also support with structures and repair. They are on the east side against those Rowdy Orcs. Here come double sloggers alongside the war boss. all looking for those Tactical Marines, Shooter Boys bringing up the rear in support there. Tech Marine runs. Tactical Marines are still in play. These guys need shotgun stats, but they can't get it yet. Don't have the power. Weaponized Assault Penguin with double Sentinels out here. Fighting against Dingus Khan, single Sentinel and double Guardsman on this west side. Where's the Lord Commissar? There he is. Inquisitor looking for some melee. Nope, there's Hammer of the Witches. Now a bunch of Lazguns can try and focus down the Lord Commissar and he runs. Looks like blue team are going to take the contested victory point on the west side. Meanwhile, over on the southeast corner, Warboss pushed through while his boys bashed power and decapped a wreck point. Nice little push from them. We'll see if the space screens can hit back now. They're a bit more cohesive. And they went double tactical marines. Solid ranged base here for Nakafoya. Still going to want shotguns or a mastercrafted bolt gun or bionics or all of those things, perhaps. Southwest power being bashed by double sentinels. Not the best power bashing unit around, but doing their best. Now they're both going to back off because those are all those are bolt guns. And there's a heavy bolter. Tekesh with storm boys on the way. Typically a good response to double tactical marines, but with bionics and stuff, the tech marine can do some really good work against a melee squad, especially if it has to jump in and isolate itself. A tarantula turret goes off, covering this eastern side. Storm boys can jump it. Sluggers could maybe take a really long way around, or they could just try and split attention and get through that way. They have now spotted the turret. We'll see if they want to push it right here, right now, with the storm boys. Sluggers look like they're going around, and burners are up. Gives them a couple of power weapons. And the burners are really good at taking down structures over on the west side again. Heavy Bolter almost wipes. Lord Commissar tries to get it. Dingus Khan escapes, I think. They have another one as well. Wow, they did get away. That was incredibly close. That was the Lord Commissar of Blocks. Who has no other units on the field right now. Just the initial guardsman and they sent an alarm. Some good pressure here though. Meanwhile, the Orcs have gone the long way around and they are bashing power, so they traded power there. Master crafted Bolter on the field for the Tech Marine. Good DPS against light infantry. Well, infantry in general, I suppose, although falls off a, a bit against Super Heavy. And you get the awesome high-powered shot. I assume they're going to use that on some sluggers. There it is. Takes out a model and suppresses them. Warboss gets in though. Going to need some more anti-melee. Storm boys jumping in. You've got the Warboss and of course more sluggers. Meanwhile, here's user choppers on the Storm boys. Buffing their melee damage and their melee skill makes them incredibly dangerous against these tactical marines. They are dealt with though as is the Warboss. Maybe they got a little bit distracted hunting those tacks. I wonder if they could have made a beeline for the for the turret from the rear and got it down. Stormboys wiped actually. Sorry, sluggers wiped. Stormboys got away. And those sluggers did have burners up. Meanwhile, these guys stole the power and noted it. This is being bashed. We do have shotgun scouts now for Nakafoya. Also have their sergeant going on. Blocks is getting units in tier one. We have some Catachin Devils. This is the Cadian scheme, one of the Cadian elite schemes. The Catechins lose their bandanas. 
Sanguine Chainsword in for the Apothecary. They also have Spotters up, as does the Weaponized Assault Penguin. Assault Squad for Nifty as well. Commissar versus Commissar action. And it's Dingus Khan that must flee. Sluggers getting a hell of a lot done over here. Stole that power. Grabbed that wreck point and got a decap on the VP. Shooter boys barely making it out, or maybe not. They are retreating in a poor direction for survivability. Tax do get it done, killing those shooter boys. So Tekesh, with an aggressive and sometimes effective opening, is now down to just two units. Can these sluggers get away? Assault squad trying to jump after them. With their chain swords and bolt pistols, here comes the war boss. He's not happy. And they've just gone tier two here. The weird boy up on that east side could do some good work. Long range shots on the turret and also warp vomit on these marines is pretty damn effective. Stormboy knob leader of course as well. The turret is still up. The Lord Commissar of blocks tried to have a go at it. Catechins back at base. Spotters are running. West side is blue. And what is this? Stormboy's having a go at this natural VP now. Didn't drop a modeling as the Apothecary Melee, who's now going to try and grab the VP back. Warboss getting some good decap in here too. This has been taken by Nakafoya though. And they'll fast cap this wreck point back with those tactical marines. Those tactical marines are quite low. Very vulnerable to a jump. And they would be able to see the decap there, since they owned that wreck point, but they're not going to go for it it seems. Taxville with a flame up took down that node quickly and gonna try and cap that back back towards the west side. Sentinels have missile launchers. Tekesh with tank busters first. Good for disrupting the double tax. And for any vehicles, of course, that would appear. It allows them to set up approaches a lot better when you can knock stuff down. Tier 2 for Dingus Khan, tier 2 for blocks. Weaponized assault penguin already there, hence the Sentinels with their missile launchers. Decap here from this Sentinel of Dingus Khan. Sentinels can decap points, but they can't capture them themselves. Devastators getting knocked around. Those are nifties. Kicking off in the mid. But they carry in on some spotters and they get away. Red team. Are they going to try and steal this power? Are they just bashing the power? Here's a bunch of las guns. The Salt Squad could jump them, maybe. Yep, there it is. You saw those missiles getting some good shots there. Those were frag missiles from the Sentinels, which are the anti infantry varieties, like a big volley of them. They can switch to crack missiles against vehicles. It's like a single shot. They could use it on that enemy Sentinel over there. Meanwhile, east side, do the Storm Boys make it? I think they're far enough away. They are. 32 hit points on two models, power being bashed by Nakafoya. The turret, the turret is down. They do have that power completely built up though, and they're stealing this one now. Tekesh with a Death Dread. The Tech Marine can get an anti-vehicle weapon, the Tax can also get missile launchers. Power bashing here through the mid for Nifty. Katachans come to have a word, Assault Squad jumped them. Now Katachans do have power melee weapons here, so those guys backed off. Surprised those Katachins retreated, actually. I thought they'd just go into melee mode and have a go. Why are you retreating, Mr. Lord Commissar? That was a weird retreat from blocks. Misclick or something, maybe. Stormtroopers up here for weaponized assault penguin with an anti... with the assault kit, sorry. There's some longer range hotshot las guns and a frag grenade. Back towards the northeast natural power of the orcs is basically gone but now they have a death dread that can stomp through with burners and bits they could maybe steal this contested power here the burners part of this death dread will take it down quickly no they're just going to try and bash it apparently they do not want to steal feel like they can't hold it i suppose southwest natural power for the red team looks like it got bashed Gens are replaced. 462 to 334 on the VP's librarian on the way for Nakafoya. They are thoroughly bashing his power. 
Would, that, would it have been better to steal that and then go on and bash the other one? Maybe. Sort squad finds some isolated catechins with a bunch of marine buddies. Still level 1 this apothecary, level 1 Lord Commissar, level 3 tech marine doing work with the master crafted bolt gun. Level 1 war boss, no war gear, level 1 Commissar for blocks, no war gear. And the Inquisitor has Inferno Pistol. Good versus all targets from short range. It is quite expensive though. I think it's 40 power or something. Correct me if I'm wrong. I guess it may be 30. Dingus Khan with a Primaris Psyker. That's going to be fun to see. Manticore is up for blocks. And still this pressure with these double sentinels from the Assault Penguin. Nice little flank from Nifty using the Heavy Bolter to threaten those sentinels. They are taking a long way around to avoid this firing up. Manticore strike. I guess it was going for those Assault Marines specifically and they ran away. Now we have double Plasma Guardsmen for weaponized Assault Penguin. Big threat to the attacks now. They can trade quite well with them. Especially if they get their Commissar. Over on the east side where Nakafoya has been quite disciplined in staying over here on this resource lane, trying to bash this power as much as possible. We have some Stern Guard veterans. They are switching to Vengeance rounds to combat these power gens effectively. Shoot them down. And they'll probably switch to Hellfire. Nope, just a retreat. Double Manticore strikes on blocks. Investing heavily in his Manticores. They really need to pay off. And making an entire army retreat is a legit use for them, you know. If you can constantly make stuff retreat off the field with them, then they're doing a job, at least. On the west side, it's... Oh, we have some... Another Cadian scheme that's been recolored, maybe, for... For Dingus. There's some really late Catechon Devils up there. Commissar runs all the way through and dies. Not sure what he's up to. 462 to 246. Big VP lead for the blue team now. Maybe Naka's scouts need to be getting through the mid a bunch more onto the VP. Looks like Nifty's having a go at it here. Sort Squad jump in. They do have a Melter Bomb. I wonder if they are specifically looking for the. Manticores here. I mean, these guys don't have a missile launcher, so maybe not. They do have a Dreadnought, though, which is fun. Staying in its default melee state for now. But I imagine we're going to see an Assault Cannon against Double Guardsmen and some Orcs. But you never know. Pain Boy up for Takesh. Help support their melee units with a heal over time. Death Dread still stomping around here quite effectively, by the way. Got a bit of XP. They do have a missile launcher up though, up before you. And as you saw, those Stern Guard can switch ammo to combat vehicles with vengeance rounds. They have their Hellfire damage over time acid rounds at the moment to combat the infantry. Storm Boys are going to wipe, are they? No, Calder Boys saves them. That is a clutch Calder Boys for Tekesh. Really swing that fight. And full power bash coming, I think. Warboss smacking around the Tech Marine. Making sure he can't fight that dangerous bolt gun. Levels to two and has a boss pole now. Very quick power bash. May be able to get a decap. And they have stolen this. Looks like Blocks. Looks like Blocks built some gens over there. So now it's up to Tekesh to try and hold them. Oh, but there's a full retreat. They could have backed off that stuff and kept it in play, I think. Only the war boss needed to retreat there. Maybe not even that if the pain boy could heal him or something. Has the string of hit source. Here's the dreadnought. Does indeed have an assault cannon. It's really far forward. What is it doing? Manticore gets a, I think, one hit. And Sentinels finish it off. That was a very risky place to take your dreadnought. Nifty is now down to just two squads. Assault squad and devastators. But it's a 3v3, so you do have more time than usual and... and more breathing room to recover. Providing your allies are up to supporting you, of course. Turret going up on the east side again to cover that contested power this time. The last one is a bit more of an aggressive position. Tier 3 for Dingus Khan. 
Tier 3 for blocks and weaponized assault penguins. Looks like Imperial Guard taking up today. Primaris Psyker needs to run. That was very close. One more burst from those hot shot las guns would have gone down. That was some. Oh, that was the Manticore of Dingus Khan. I thought that was a bunch of friendly fire from blocks. Librarian on the way now for Nifty. 418 to 231. Manticore wipes out the heavy bolter. That was an auto cannon, actually, I think. Those guys had upgraded to an auto cannon. No plasma guns, eh? You're facing these sentinels with heavy infantry armor on them. And they haven't got plasma guns up on those guardsmen. Sentinels are doing a lot of work here. Both level 3. Those missiles are very painful for the guardsmen. Maybe they think even with the plasma guns they can't trade with them super well because of those missiles. Gotta try though, right? Maybe shoot and move a bit. Attack step. East side power bash. Here comes a power claw war boss. Now he's not messing around any longer. Storm boys, what level are those fellas? They're still level one. Death tread charging through as well. Pain boys hanging out. Lefty or screen needs to get closer to heal stuff. War boss has stopped chasing. Storm boys do get the heal. And they were getting quite low. War boss is not taking part in this fight. Death Dread goes down. Tank Buster's getting too close to the turret, but now they know exactly where it is. So they could do some Tank Buster Barrages on that location. I'm not sure if a Tank Buster Barrage will one-shot a turret, but I imagine it gets really bloody close, if not. Drop Pod. Dropping Marines in for Nifty. Dingus Khan down to two units. Manticore was taken out there, as you can see. Don't build power where I'm at, says Te Tekesh. They're talking about the... Uh, oh, this entire lane, I guess. They'll keep... Maybe try to keep this power power farm up in the mid. War truck on the way for Tekesh. That could help deal with the turret. Turret in that form won't really threaten vehicles. But you can get a missile onto it, which is really powerful. Librarian runs. Father Kerry may also have to run. Has purification rights. Special attack misses. I don't think he heals when he hits the special attack. I don't think so. Meanwhile, sneaky scouts are being sneaky. Gonna run into orcs, fellas. Be careful. Oh, looks like they want to run into orcs. There's a shotgun blast for him. Stone Guard run. Takesh has found a fight. There's the jump. Those guys stunned on landing because the Storm Boy and Nob Leader is a big fella. There's a Manticore strike. War Truck needs to be careful here. Bomber Boys forces the retreat. There were some Catatons coming in to help out the Orcs as well. Can they get the turret down? Do they have multiple turrets then? Yes. Two turrets on this side. Storm boys. Oh, storm boys are not sticking around. They could have reinforced off the war truck, but they chose to leave. Catagens here impressed by the war boss's boss pole. Is there going to be a tank buster barrage? No, they're just going to shoot it. Need to split the units up a bit, I think, if they're going to do this. There we go. They got it. They got it. Now there's one left. And they're barraging it. Very close to taking it down. I wonder if you could hit it a little bit more flush and it would have done it. West side. Turning red. Manticore says no. So does the Inferno pistol. Both those sentinels still up, by the way. Getting some repairs. East side. War truck shouldn't be showing rear armor here. Storm boys are back. They don't have their knob leader yet, though. Need to repurchase that fella. Dingus Khan with the Lehman Russ. Vanquisher cannon is in. 388 to 135. I can't defend, says Takesh. 
going to get their power bashed again, maybe. They're all tier 3, though. And they have the cent they've had this central power for a while, it feels like. Pathogen Devils getting their Sarge. For blocks. Salt Squad jumping it in and mixing it up. Stone Guard Veterans doing their thing. Apothecary a bit late joining the fight. But I think in a decent position to heal those Assault Squad fellas right here, maybe. Oh, what's going on? Oh, they're turning into Vanguard Veterans. They don't care about healing them. Sentinel goes down. That was one of the Assault Penguins. Here come Vanguard Veterans. Tier 3 upgrade for... Assault Marines can only have one of these guys. They've got power weapons. They do give up their Melter Bomb. It's a lot to give up. You do get more hit points as well. War Truck versus Vanquish and Lehman Russ is not really a fair fight. Kashuk on the way for Dingus Khan. Takesh coming to the west side. He wants to fight more stuff. Thank Buster Barrage for those devs. And the Manticore Strike. Uh oh. Stormboy's jumping into Manticore Strike. Friendly fire. Pergatus goes in. Dingus Khan needs to run, I think, maybe. No, these, these guardsmen are staying in play. Oh, now they run. There's Hammer of the Witches. 371 to 135. What do we have going on? Nakafoya has dropped a Venerable Dreadnought in. Where the heck are you, buddy? Oh, you're right here. On the west side. Unique to the Tech Marine, this thing. Big bucket of hit points. They've increased the hit points even further with Dark Age of Technology. Just killed the Lord Commissar and flung him aside there. 2-1 to one for Blue. Starting to mount a decent VP lead now. Takesh with a battle wagon. Weaponized with a Bane Blade. Can the red team bring this back? They're going to have big lumps of vehicle armor hit points to deal with in a second. I mean, you do have that Vanquish Lehman Russ. They've got a bunch of Marines that can get anti-armor weapons and stuff. So can the Tech Marine, I suppose. What's he got here? Signet Armor is in. Manticore goes down. Not going to chase the other one, though. Sentinel gingerly gets a missile shot in there. What is this? Power Bashing Scouts. Well done, fellas. Chuck a grenade and run. Nope, they're just going to run. Terminator's in for Nifty. They were able to recover quite well. They were down to two squads at one point. But they carry almost level four. Red team finally stealing this power. Oh, they're just bashing it. But they are going to take the node. Sluggers level two. Stormboys level two. West side very red right now. Can they stabilize here? Neiman Russ being the focus point. Lord Commissar comes in with Fist of Rockers to have a go. Also has the Emperor's Wrath. Makes it out, maybe. No, Librarian used Quickening there and got the last hit. That speeds him up and gives us some damage assist, I believe. It's quite nice to have. Here's the Orc Battle Wagon. Piled full of units right now. Not sure, there we go. I was going to say, I'm not sure why they aren't getting out and fighting here. Surprise, Vanguard Veterans. Good merciless strike. But those sluggers with pain boy support are quite vicious. War boss in there, of course. I'm amazed they have three models still. Looks like Takesh thinking about rotating to the west side right now. Unless they want to go through the middle. Terminator taking some damage. These guys cannot retreat. Here's a Cyclo Missile Launcher. Very powerful anti-vehicle weapon. Big fight brewing on this west side now. There's a Cyclone on the battle wagon. That's kind of getting shots. Almost went down. Does go down. That's kind of finishes it. Sluggers having to flee. Warboss having to flee. Painboy flees. And those Terminators did not drop a model there. Now damage pouring in on the Bane Blade. They cannot lose this thing in quick succession. Mines dropped in by Dingus Khan. Venerable Dreadnought charging forward. Is the Bane Blade far enough away here? 
venerable dreadnought still giving chase doing big chunks of damage with those melee attacks of course cyclone gets it does get it done i think maybe the lima rust got the last hit there but look at the work that cyclone missile launcher did basically set up the kill for two super heavy vehicles that was that felt like a really short cooldown on that thing I still think the Cyclone Missile Launcher is kind of bonkers. Ever since it was buffed. It was buffed a long time ago now. But it's been so strong ever since then. I think they've got to up that cooldown maybe. Bane Blade on the way now for blocks. Weaponize Assault Penguin with all of the red. 999 maxed out on it. Tekesh can also drop a rocks in somewhere. Venerable Dreadnought made it out safely, now being repaired by scouts. The Tech Marine, of course, can also repair. Additionally, you can use the Blessing of the Omnicide Global to repair vehicles across the map. 280 to 100. Red team with a single. What got the decap here? What was it? I don't know. Stormtroopers flee. Are you going to push through, fellas? They are going to get the 2 to 1 now in terms of stabilizing. A land raider would be amazing, of course. Nob squad on the way for Takesh. Inquisitor back to her feet. Lord Commissar now level 4 for blocks. And the Bane Blade's coming. Is it, is it the thing to get with that Cyclone Missile Launcher and stuff around? Maybe they'll just be way, way, way more careful with it because they did push forward a bit there and took shots from kind of everything. It'll be pretty easy to keep it out of the last cannon range, I think, but you're still going to be threatened by the Lehman Russ and that Cyclone Missile Launcher. At the very least, there's still Stone Guard veterans and stuff around. Level 7 Tech Marine. I got knobs and a nuke, says Takesh. And here they are. They have their U-Jammers. They are getting a knob leader. Don't have Beena and Greenie yet. Maybe because they want to make sure they have enough to nuke. I think Mina and Greenie is 75 to use, isn't it? They would have enough. Another Lehman Rust for Dingus Khan. The first one's been amazing so far. This one, more anti-infantry focused with the Executioner. Would be very good against that knob squad. Which is why they should get Mina and Greener. Oh, they have it. They do have it now. Allows them to use Frenzy when they have that. Stone Guard veterans getting caught, but they're okay. Here's the push from Takesh. Can they time this right? Need their allies with them. Bane Blade is here. Nob Squad getting knocked over and suppressed by the shotguns. There's the heal over time from the Pain Boy. And there's Ard Boys on them too. Venerable Dreadnought comes in with the Emperor's Fist. Mark target on the Nob Squad now. Look at the damage they are soaking up. There's a rocket run. I assume that was from Weaponized Penguin, yeah. It's a good rocket run. It did hit the knobs quite a lot. Let's call the boys, though. Down goes Elim and Russ. Really good usage of call the boys. I do think it's kind of underutilized a bit, call the boys. I'm surprised I don't see it in every single game with an orc player kind of thing. I think it takes quite a lot of red. I can't remember the exact value. I just, I see it so little. Are they going to get this Lehman Russ? It's level four. Nob Squad will just crack anything to death with those U jammers. Couldn't quite get it done. War Boss now has heavy armor. They were of course buffed by the boss pole as well there. Venerable Dreadnought, level three now, 24-17. Bane Blade is okay. Good push from the Orcs, I think. And they had to give up the east side to do it. But those knobs did an amazing job. Soaked up huge amounts of damage. Got a tank down. Threatened a bunch of stuff. And blue team did get the western VP back. This thing needs to turn around. Doesn't want to show rear armor. Sack the missile launcher terminators. Here comes the demolisher cannon. Can't knock them over, but does a decent chunk of damage. Uh oh. Anti armor stormtroopers for Dingus Khan. Melter Bomb goes in and there's a Cyclone. Look at the damage. Huge. 
Laz cannon getting shots. Double cap now for red. Have both the naturals. It is being retaken by some tank busters. What is this? Use your choppers on this slugger squad. And Ard Boys against Stern Guard with And Aisha no No Fear active. But here comes a weird boy to make that fight way more unfair. Those guys will now cap the wreck point. Lots of capping to do on this side for Takesh. 142 to 87. Stern Guard, I think, are okay. Yes, they're okay. Lehman Russ on the way from Nigma's card. I'm sure Takesh, after that weird boy, would love to get another knob squad up. And they can use Warpath and stuff. Ward Commissar pushing through. Creating some space for the cap. But Rocket Run says no. Are these guys dead? Catachins are indeed super dead. That is a repair bunker up, I believe. Yes, it is. And there's some more manual repairs. Now two Bane Blades on the west side. Assault Penguin got another one over here. That's a lot of guns. Yuma Russ getting repaired as well. Terminator is quite low. But um, obviously they want to stick around for Cyclone Missile Launcher like that. You can stop caps with it too. Does actually really good anti-infantry damage. Seems to have a decent little radius on each missile. Bad neighbourhood to jump into, fellas. They couldn't see exactly what was here like we could. But now they know. It's two Bane Blades, a bunch of plasma guns supported by a bunker. That Sentinel still there for Assault Penguin as well. Must be level 4, right? Yeah, it is. 104 to 87. I see what I assume are Orcs having a run at the natural VP. Terminators puffing it out. Bane Blades backing off a bit. Threatened by Lehman Russ's two Vanquisher cannons. And they definitely are a threat to the Bane Blades. 98 to 87. How are them Orcs doing? But they've got a venerable Dreadnought to fight. Tank Bus is helping out. Nob Squad in there, of course. Warboss with the Power Claw. Scouts are persuaded to leave. Charges out, does the Vendred. Can they get the VP decapped at least? It's going to be an 87 each game. There it is. Red team with a 2 to 1. Terminator is helping out. So nifty. Land Red Redeemer is in for Nakafoya on the west side now. When did they sneak that out? Auto kind of doing some decent work, eh? Stormtroopers here. But they're all assault stormtroopers, so I'm not sure what they're up to. Maybe just getting yeah, just getting some vision, I think. If they were anti-armor, they might go after Le Lehman Russes and stuff. In fact, they would do a great job on this one down here that's damaged. Meanwhile. It was indeed decapped. Well played to Kesh. They've been under huge pressure in this game, but I think I feel like they've kept their head. And they've and they've made decent decisions of where to push. Lord Commissar, where are you? Oh, getting revived right now. By both of them. Do they both get XP? You can both get XP if the uh, revived party doesn't move before the animation fences are both. Flat jacket is in. For some inspiring of terror. Can the Terminators get a decap under intense fire here? Demolisher's going in. They got it. There's some advanced healing from the Apothecary. They need to get out though, surely. They got out and he did not drop a model on that. Here's an orbital. Threatening the Bane Blades. It does do huge amounts of damage to vehicles, but obviously you can move away from the beams relatively easily with the vehicle. 79 to 54. Oh, they're taking out the bunker. And anything inside of it. Down it goes. Another bunker comes up immediately from blocks. They want that repair bunker up. That is really good value for them to have there. Blue team having to get their natural back now. Thanks to some sneaky stone guard. Hawks are not pleased with it. Back to the west side though. 72-54 kicking off. Rocket run coming in. Gets the terminators off the cap. Bane bed getting low. Pergatus. Messing up the anti-armor stormtroopers there. Van God veterans flee. That Bane bed is now very low. I don't, that's not a repair bunker yet, look. 
They aren't being repaired. There we go. Now it's upgraded as a repair bunker. Orcs coming through. That Land Raider Redeemer, though. The whole of the Red Team can now reinforce and retreat back to this thing. Which can mean it's nuke bait. I don't think any of them have a nuke right now, though. No. Kind of far away from one, actually. Knob Squad. There's all the boys. War boss goes down. Knob Squad now have to retreat. Weird Boy was helping out there. Did Knob Squad get away? They can't lose him. 39 hit points. I think they made it out. I don't think there's anything in, re in retreat path. 66 43, 2 to 1 for blue. Intense fighting here. Land Raider barely got scratched, it felt like there. Napa Foyer just has maxed out resources, basically. Just don't have the population to get anything fancy. Terminator's getting wrecked. Dropping two models there. Had to be healed. Bane Blade's now nice and repaired. There's two Manticores back there too. Vanguard veterans having a go with some melee attacks. They seem to be largely ignored. There's the Pogatus. Dingus Khan gets it. 2 to 1, 65 to 31. Look at this from Nakafoya. Turret going up on the VP. Stormboy's jumping in. A staggered jump though. They go straight for the VP, did they? Oh, well, that was weird. The Stormboy Nobita came in and it stunned the Tech Marine, even though they weren't present during the jump. Level 9 Tech Marine here, by the way. Stormboy's having to jump out. Here comes the Nob Squad. They need to pop their Frenzy. There it is. Gives them suppression immunity and 75% damage. Is this double cap here for Red Team? Blue Team are getting the contested, I think. But can they get their natural back? Nob Squad could probably deal with this here. They could deal with this themselves. And there's the cap coming back. On the west side, though. The west side just littered with bodies right now. Oh, there's the game. Red team had it at the end with a double cap. Blue team didn't actually have this. It was a decapped VP. Intense stuff. Awesome. Awesome game. Level 6 war boss at, down at the end for Takesh. Maybe a second knob squad instead of that weird boy. Would have him better, maybe. Level 5 Lord Commissar for blocks. Level 8 Inquisitor for weaponized assault penguin. Did great work with those double sentinels. That was fun to see. Dingus Khan, level 5. The Demon Russes did, uh, yeah, did great work. Level 6 Apothecary. Cyclo Missile Launcher being as insane as usual. And a level 10 Tech Marine. Nakafoya, composed as always, was very solid on that east side power bashing. And uh, in the end, did it with the VP. There you have it, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. I certainly did. And I'll see you next time.